What's up? Hi, I'm Dr. Deben and welcome back to Semang Sehat with me, Dr. Deben, brought to you by He Medical Clinic, your one-stop center for all things related to men's health. So, uh the topic today is uh again, uh, I wouldn't say a taboo topic, but it's something that is lingering in every man's mind, but he or the man might be a bit shy to discuss about it, but we are going to break it open today and discuss regarding penis size. Does size matter? All right. So today to join me on this podcast, I have again uh, two of my favorite panelists, two of my favorite uh, uh, guests, uh, Dr. Praha, my colleague from He Medical Clinic, as well as Dr. Vaishini, a female health uh, practitioner from a Femina uh, Clinic, Putrajaya, right? All right. So welcome to the podcast, guys. Hi, Deepan. Right. So Hi, Deepan. We had a good session uh, last yes. episode uh, where we discussed... Uh, uh, sexually transmitted infections. So for those who missed it, you can get, uh, view it again in all of our social medias, especially YouTube. Uh, there's also snippets on Instagram, TikTok mm. as well. All right. So today's topic, does size matter? So Praha, let's begin with you. Does uh, size matter? Actually, size does not matter. All right. But um, if you see uh, the manhood is been the symbol of, uh, um, you know, uh, how uh, masculine a man is based on the size of their penis. So mm-hmm. some... Oh, that's men, what the man feels. Yes. All right. uh, so some may be insecure when their size is not as big as, as it should be. Because visually we have seen how uh, they portray the size of the penis. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I think, but again... Scientifically, size does not matter because uh, statistically, the average size of a penis when mm-hmm. it's erected, mm-hmm. it's 5.1 to 5.5 inches. And studies has shown that majority of guys, when they have an erection, they actually fall on this category. So so you mean to say that uh, flaccid length is not so, exactly. it's not a good indicator. Is it's what not you're a good saying. indicator at all. Okay. Yep. So what's important is the erect length, erect. which is again, uh, average is? 5.1 to 5.5. Inches. Inches. Yes. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, so what if someone uh, lesser than that? So if less than that, it actually it could be just a primary uh, cause to it, mm-hmm. like um, genetics or when when um, uh, during pregnancy, if the mother consumes certain type of drugs, okay. Okay. or chromosomal abnormalities, mm-hmm. it can be also acquired uh, because mm-hmm. of infections, mm-hmm. trauma. Mm-hmm or because of vascular insufficiency mm-hmm. so or endocrine disorders like hypothyroidism so this can result in mm-hmm. um, shrinkage of the penis size okay so yeah. uh so okay so to vaishni my question to you again this would be interesting to know from a female point of view all right okay. does a man's penis size matter uh, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to sexual intercourse okay to a fee- to a, to a woman does it matter all right. <clears throat> Uh, definitely, this is a very shy topic for all the women. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. why we call you in to discuss. So we, you know, exactly. we can bring right. a female perspective to this. Um, I would say, like, um, um, uh, by glance, everybody mm-hmm. thought is this is not a matter of uh, size for mm-hmm. a female, mm-hmm. but actually, a penis size is a matter and a bet. So how I meant is mm-hmm. actually the penis size um, uh, is quite important for all the women. Mm-hmm to achieve their orgasm. and mm-hmm. But I would say it's not for not applicable for all the women. So mm-hmm. It's certain women that they need or they require that orgasm to reach. Mm-hmm. So they require the penny size in a larger way. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, and some of them, they don't mind. Mm-hmm. Probably they might have some other issues, mm-hmm. like any, any other issues like female sexual dysfunction or anything mm-hmm. else. But still, I would say if size does matter. Does matter, okay. Yeah. But does that mean that larger is always better? Not really, actually. Okay. So, because vaginal um, wall is flexible. Okay. So, um, a female size is, you need to see according to the size of the female, mm-hmm. whether it's larger or uh, ethnicity, whether he, she's from okay. where. Let me stop you there. there. So, when you mention the size of the female, what you mean is uh, the size of the vagina uh, or the depth of the vagina the is what you mentioned. The depth of the vagina okay. and all, all right. this. Yeah. Which right. is again on average three to five centimeters yes. or so, right? Yeah. So, so uh, what gives more pleasure? Okay, again, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, what gives pleasure? This is my understanding. Okay, uh, is when it comes to sexual intercourse, what gives pleasure to women is not so much the length of the penis, but it's about the circumference or the girth of the penis. How much of the vaginal wall that it 
occupies because the only sense the sensitive portion of the vagina is only about the first two to two and a half centimeters the rest of it is actually insensate so yes i would go as far to say that if it if a man has a very big penis for example okay uh and he were to engage in sexually uh sexual intercourse with a woman potentially it could even be traumatizing right yes. uh, is that is that correct. true correct correct right. correct actually right. uh-huh. but i would say yes um like how i would say mm-hmm. right uh, succum circumference all mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so this is important for that because you need to um spot the g spot mm-hmm. so that is g spot it's not deeper into the, the vagina the g spot you can't see you can like people places yeah, exactly i mean like you can't predict where it is actually okay. so different women's different places of the g spots okay. but but i would say that nature does a very good job in keeping everything in check and balance so like you mentioned the average uh, erect length is yes. 5.52 Uh, sorry 5.1 to 5.5 inches uh, which is roughly about uh, anywhere from 8 to 9 cm per se so uh, and when they were sorry uh, 8 to 12 cm per se and when they engage in sexual intercourse the female vaginal length is about 5 cm so by default most penises would fit yes the vagina <laughs> right correct so but there but okay coming to that there are also cases where one would actually have a small penis or someone has a small penis by say okay penis, yeah. how do we know uh, some okay so for example uh, micro penis for example right so that is uh, uh, mentioned as a stretched penile length meaning to say if you were to stretch the penis to its maximum of less than 3.6 inches is considered micro penis yes. and yeah you mentioned a couple of uh, reasons why one would could have uh, a small uh, penis size it could be genetics it, again it could be uh, medications that the the per- the person was exposed to either during uh, antepartum or when intrauterine or extrauterine as well trauma as well as uh, certain infections or even cancer for example yes. and then following cancer treatment and all that okay but now when a man with who comes in to the clinic and says okay doc i have a small penis all right i want to make it larger what are the options or what what how does that conversation go through so um i would be very honest with patients uh, because the treatment which is uh, out there um, that we as doctors we practice day to day it's it's only going to offer marginal increase or enhancement in the size it's not going to mm-hmm. give them you know some ads i've seen they but honestly patient showed me on facebook that there's this oil that you can apply on the penis and it's going to grow like a zebra <laughs> so so okay. this is the <laughs> illusion that i think uh, people buy mm-hmm. but when it comes to actual practice like mm-hmm. uh, in our point of view there's only marginal increment in size that we can mm-hmm. offer mm-hmm. mainly the the thickness of it instead mm-hmm. of the, the girth of it yes yeah. okay so i'll tell my patients self assurance is the key but if you're looking for any chance of marginally increasing the size mm-hmm. yes mm-hmm. through there's vacuum devices a mm-hmm. pineal pump vacuum devices mm-hmm. uh, there's also traction uh, device mm-hmm. uh, stretching exercises mm-hmm. like kegels um, also there is a invasive way of increasing the size of the penis mm-hmm. with uh, uh injections uh, either mm-hmm. with hyaluronic acid uh, fillers, fillers body fillers yeah or even uh, prp shots okay uh, can help to increase the size of the corpus tissue mm-hmm. uh and ultimately surgical intervention uh, mm-hmm. of course it's going to offer a better enhancement in terms of the size but it mm-hmm. comes with risks and complications so mm-hmm. uh they have to outweigh the benefit and the risk they're willing to go through yeah so of course i'm sure there are a lot of men out there who would want to uh enhance their sizes because there is a lot of social stigma there's a lot of uh i would say uh emotional uh trauma that they would have put on yeah. themselves thinking that they have a small size i think it's important for them to understand that that a longer penis is is not necessarily a a, a better penis this is not necessarily a, a sign of good sexual health or that they they need to fulfill or that they need a larger penis to fulfill their partners and so on so so much to show that you know it's not about how much of it that you have yes. but how you use it that right. matters i mean like if you have a longer penis how mm. you would enter a vagina yes true that that <laughs> that i have i have actually encountered that issue as well so mm. uh from with a from a patient who actually had an enhancement done and it had gone wrong so yes. so that's the other risk that patients subject themselves to when when they go uh, for uh, unscrupulous Uh, enhancement methods uh, some which are very dubious uh, and uh, end up 
without getting a lot more complications than what they had bargained yes. for. So that's that. All right. So uh, let's right, quickly go through some true or false questions. Okay. All right. So uh, I think uh, these are questions that uh, our team had had uh, managed to s- scrimmage. It's kind All of right. Interesting. Yeah. So uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> it's true or false but feel free to explain or add any anecdotes that you have okay so the first sure. question the size of a man's genitalia is determined solely by his genetics true or false false, false. okay why because um, like we discussed earlier deben uh, genetics doesn't really uh, cause shrinkage of the penis mm-hmm. it's uh, maybe it does play a part like westerners and africans have a mm-hmm. little bit bigger penis mm-hmm. than asian population mm-hmm. um, however it's not the sole primary cause to having a micro penis or small penis okay. and average males they're going to have a good erection anyway mm-hmm. so unless there is issues with erection like ed then mm-hmm. yeah okay so th- those are or i would say acquired causes, acquired causes right so yeah. if there is erectile dysfunction then yes you are not having a sufficient, sufficient. Erect, erect length then yes. it may look shorter uh, there also uh, can be uh, other causes for seemingly small penises such as uh, one that we commonly encounter is buried penis yeah. which uh, usually what happens is like when when patients are obese and uh, there's a pad of fat around the penis that falls on it yes. and makes the penis look smaller, smaller. than it actually is all right So so obese fat men don't cowards. worry your penis hasn't really become shorter yes. okay <laughs> fat just the, the fat <laughs> covering yeah exactly the fat covering all right so second question the perception of what constitutes an ideal genital size varies across cultures i think that's true deben i mean okay. it, it does varies across cultures uh, mm-hmm. you know like even in uh, malaysia you know people tend to say um, certain populations have a bigger so called penis size Yeah, I mean, I don't think that's true, though, right? I mean, you I feel like true or false in between, actually. I mean, <laughs> say, I mean we we encounter. I mean, we see penis day to day, you know. Yeah. So I I think it it varies across cultures, but uh, yeah. So there are some cultures that that uh, that I've come across. I can't remember exactly where, but uh, that a larger penis is not necessarily considered a, a, a greater penis. It's not a sign of virility per se. Yes. I mean, yes, across. multiple cultures yes but not in all cultures and yeah. of course there are more other cultures especially more advanced ones uh, uh western way of thinking that that has an uh what i would say uh they have this acceptance or not say acceptance but they are aware that that the penis size doesn't really matter when it comes to sexual function or sexual pleasure right uh okay so but i think that is still yet to catch up here so yeah. here there's still a lot more that think you know size truly matters per se in that sense but okay uh all right so third one this is this is going to be a good one okay there is a correlation between shoe size and genital size It's false. false completely false <laughs> it's all right so i think i think we should just read that your shoe size is not the not no, no, your shoe size this or oh, what is uh, yeah or when i was in school they would say you know the palm, leg, the palm the, size yeah, yeah. that does not constitute no. it, it has no relation whatsoever <laughs> okay <But> for arm <laughs> size <laughs> no yeah exactly they say the for arm size is equal for okay, your foot part fine fine so it doesn't matter so yes. you know it doesn't right all right so uh okay So this is okay so this is quite common I've I've encountered this in uh, from my patients mm-hmm. as well um penis size doesn't or uh, sorry penis size does affect a man's ability to father children false, false. all right why so because um to reproduce actually doesn't the size doesn't matter mm-hmm. it's how the quality of the sperms are mm-hmm. and again quality of sperms reflects the general well-being of the Okay, so mm-hmm. so so partly it depends on Definitely. on your sperm count as well yes. as on the partner. Yes. Okay, but what about you, Vishnu? What do you think? You you would think you would say it's false too. I would say it's false too. Okay, because um, uh, penis size doesn't matter if let's say you able to ejaculate mm-hmm. correctly into mm-hmm. your cervix and mm-hmm. into the fallopian tube. Mm-hmm. Why does this size matters? True. So, so but yeah. I would I would think of it as with with a caveat, meaning okay. you say okay. that. Uh, the penis size as long as it is normal okay that that you mentioned the uh, average penis size of course it doesn't it doesn't affect fertility whatsoever all right but if for example if someone were to have a uh, micro penis for example oh, yeah. so where sexually uh, sorry being sexually active or sexual intercourse becomes uh, problematic they are unable to penetrate then yes it would affect 
their uh, possibility of yeah. Yeah. spontaneous Definitely conception. Yeah, they would have yeah, some other so, genetic okay. causes also. Okay, so next one, uh, last one. Surgery is the only option for enhancement of the male genital organ. False. False. All right. So I think yes. like what you mentioned, uh, the methods include surgery is just one of yes. them. Yep. Yes. So, so there are also other minimally, minimally invasive, there are also non-invasive, non-invasive methods. Yeah. But each has their risks, uh, each has Benefits. their success rates yes. as well. Yep. 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 Outcomes. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, like I... Thought it's going to be a short topic, <laughs> yes, right? and, and it's fun. But a pretty fun one. <laughs> All right, so I think uh, things that we can take back, uh, take back home messages per se from today is that yes, size does matter to a certain extent. Yeah, but I think that's most importantly is that uh, social under I mean the understanding of what constitutes a normal size is important to determine uh, what is uh, a normal. Or a good penis size per se. Other than that, anything else that you like to add? Um, another thing that I would stress about you, mm-hmm. Ben, is that uh, penis size doesn't affect you to reproduce, mm-hmm. doesn't affect your sexual function, mm-hmm. and it doesn't affect your health. Mm-hmm. And um, so I would say people shouldn't be very conscious about it. Be more uh, confident about yourself and be thankful as well. So mm-hmm. that's the take home message that I would like to <laughs> <laughs> be thankful for what you have. Y- yes. <laughs> All right. Fine. So, Vaishni, anything else that you like to add on? I think uh, <laughs> for for uh, for men out there, they need to aware on uh, women who are expecting for a larger penis. Mm-hmm. They probably will be high, having a higher orgasm. So, okay. um, there's a study shows that also a uh, women with um a higher orgasm they prefer a more larger penis compared mm-hmm. to normal females mm-hmm. who has a normal hormonal effects then um, they don't prefer it much mm-hmm. yeah so i would say like male you need to be aware on that part okay but but that would put innate pressure on the males as well isn't it for an yes. yes actually i have seen a lot of cases like mm-hmm. uh, from from patients so mm-hmm. they say mm, okay my partner needs it every day Mm-hmm. So they want it like larger or something like that, and they so, come for they a treatment. That, they think that it being larger is better. It's better and more okay. enhancement actually, okay. but it's doesn't true on that part. Yes. Yeah, so it's depending actually. So that brings partner. about. I mean, if I can add on to that, it brings yeah. about the need for uh, partners to discuss amongst right. themselves uh, yeah. is uh, regarding their pleasures and what gives them pleasure and what is important whether. Uh, a larger size does give them pleasure or not and of course if they want to enhance this a lot of ways okay but i would also go as much to say that uh knowing that the average length is again 5.1 to 5.5 inches and 95 percent of the population falls within that bracket i think it's good that people use that knowledge and not pit themselves against uh portrayals on uh, on pornography as well yes. which are unrealistic to yes. begin with okay so that's the i would say that those are the outliers mm-hmm. you know those are the, that's, yes. that's the rest 2.5 percent of population that have that are better endowed i wouldn't say well endowed right? They're just better yeah. in that sense of the length and so on right so unrealistic expectations uh hopefully people can realize that having an unrealistic expectation is not always the right thing exactly right? so uh and like you said, be happy with or what be be con- not say be content, but be confident with self confidence is the yeah, key. Self confidence, exactly. So so much so as yeah. how you use it is matters uh, is what matters the most, right? So uh, other than that, you know, be open and discuss with your partners uh, regarding what gives a pleasure. And if it is, if they do think that it is the size that is a an issue, and of course that can be enhanced, enhanced. okay, safely. Uh, always consult your doctors. All right. So that brings us to the end of. Our topic today, does size matter? So uh, I think we've helped to uncover some myths, uh, bring in some insight to this as well as to inform and to empower everyone. So uh, till we we meet again in the next episode. So uh, stay informed and uh, stay healthy. Thank you.